How do you do, sports fan? This is Leo Clodio with Malice to Men. We're here in the Grand Ballroom of the Fista Hotel in Milwaukee today, and it's indeed a pleasure to have as our guest a friend of long standing, one of the outstanding newspaper men in the country for many years. I'd like to welcome to our show, Carl Lundquist. Welcome, Carl. Leo, it's uh, nice to be with you, and it's nice to be back in Milwaukee, the town where all of the transfer and expansion in the major leagues began back in 1953. Carl, uh, of all the sports that you covered when you were with the United Press, so what probably was the your favorite? Uh, no question about it. My uh, uh, favorite of uh, baseball. This was uh, uh, for me. Call it what you want. A great old American game. Uh, this is. Uh, it has such a lore and such a uh, a great treasure trove of memories, which you can always pick up and start talking about and start writing about. Uh, I don't think that any of the other American sports have this same uh, hold on the people and hold on the people who write about it. Uh, and out of there, as you say, baseball was it. Uh, what is probably the most memorable baseball event you've ever covered? Well, there's no question about that, and I'm sure that uh, you asked this question anybody who was there. It has to be the, uh, uh, the Bobby Thompson game, the uh, playoff game in 1951, and the Giants... Uh, finally won the pennant after uh, much travail against the Brooklyn Dodgers. And uh, this game, uh, uh, it just exploded in your face. And if you take down through the years, the, the World Series, whatever it is, there's only been one other game that even remotely compares with it, where the, and that was in the World Series, that was when Bill Mazeroski hit the home run against uh, the Yankees for Pittsburgh in 1960 where you, the situation is you're at the bottom of the ninth in the final and deciding game, and somebody hits a home run. Well, look it up. It only happened once in all the years of the World Series. And so this playoff thing, uh, which was a uh, uh, hyper-sensational thing to begin with, uh, no question about it. It just stands out over everything else. It reminds me of the line you just used, look it up. It reminds me of old case. That's what he always says, look it up. Right. <laughs> uh, a couple of no-hitters, uh, big strong memories for him. Uh, Bob Feller pitched a no-hitter in Yankee Stadium, and uh, this was a beautiful ball game because it was one to nothing, and his catcher, Frankie Hayes, had to hit a home run in the top of the ninth in order for him to win it. And uh, Lou Boudreau made a couple of great plays at uh, shortstop to pull him out, including one where he fielded a ball in the hole and flipped it to Keltner at third base because he wasn't in a position to throw. This was a play that uh, you don't see very often in baseball, but uh, Cleveland used it very often. Uh, Boudreau would, uh, would, he didn't have the strongest arm in the world. He didn't have the best feet in the world. He had basketball feet, so he didn't move around. But he would get that ball in the hole, flip it to Keltner, and Keltner would throw the man out at, uh, at first base. This was an interview with Carl Lundquist, one of the outstanding newspaper men with the United Press for many, many years, and now in the promotional field in the city of New York. In the field of sports, this brings us to the end of with Malice to Men for today. From the Grand Ballroom of the Fister Hotel in Milwaukee, until tomorrow at the same time, Leo Claudia, good day.